Welcome to the channel everybody. Today I have this 2023 KW T680 with a Cummins X15 engine. It's the newest version of the uh, Cummins Stray 6 uh, 15.0. Uh, um, the problem that this truck is having is um, checking the light on. Um, it has 200,000 miles, the red light on, service, and he claims that the filter is full of ash. Uh, with the software connected, I get to pull the fault codes, and here are the fault codes that this um, truck has, and here are the numbers, fault code numbers, in case you want to see the numbers. Anyway, uh, the fault codes that we're wearing, they're all referring to the DPF filter. See, DPF filter, DPF filter, DPF filter, DPF filter, DPF filter. And this one is the reason why we have a red light here, because it's the major problem that we're getting. What this code is referring to is referring that the pressure of the DPF filter is high. Um, this could be caused because of um, the filter is getting dirty and it's not getting clean, or uh, the engine has uh, done many many idling hours and this is causing the filter to not be able to burn these ashes. In this case, uh, the first thing uh, to repair these problems is to do a regen. Uh, this is not a simple process. In some cases, you're gonna be able to get uh, troubleshooting on these fault cuts. But in this case, we have to select the engine and everything because um, it's a new truck, so probably the troubleshooting is not going to be here for new trucks. You have to upgrade the program. In this case, this is a 2022 software, and this is a 2023. That means then, uh, yeah, we need to do some upgrades to be in order to be able to read some of the troubleshooting. But basically, most of the troubleshooting on these uh, fault codes are right, the DPF filter, the pressure, see, um, it is um, high, or is referring then the the time that the filter has been submitted to a region is not normal. Probably the region is not going through because the temperature is low, or uh, there is many reasons. Um, I, won't, I won't tell you what is the exact repair to this problem, but I will tell you what you need to do to find the problem. In this case, since we have a problem with the DPF filter, all we have to do is close this and go to diagnostics. You see on diagnostic. And then we can do a regen. We see after treatment right here. We also can do a restriction test. Uh, the restriction test, what it does is to see if we have so much back pressure in the DPF filter and if we do, the computer will tell you to replace the DPF filter because the DPF filter is the cause why the pressure is raising so much. Um, if we don't get any of these, we just can do a regular region and uh, if the system is work working correctly with no problems after you do the region these cuts right here should be able to go off that's only if the region is working correctly if you do the region see that's the way it looks the region is screen um, if you do the region and the cuts don't go away you have to pay attention to the temperatures. So you can go here and select the temperatures that you're gonna see. 
In this case, the temperatures that we have to monitor for our successful region is the DOC inlet, DOC outlet or DPF inlet, DPF outlet, um, and those are the main ones. The SER inlet and the SER outlets are not important in this case because those are temperatures that are not used for a region. Um, but the DOC's temperatures are the one. So for example, here we have a section of uh, readings rely, um, related to the region, the most important readings that you can um, inspect during a region. We have temperatures, see, the diesel particulate filter intake temperature, which is the DPF intake. Uh, and we have the NOx sensor corrosion, that's important. Something very important to see is then um, when you are doing a region, if the SER conversion, see this is the inlet and this is the outlet. If the SER conversion is not right, for example, if we have 200 ppm right here and we have 200 ppm right here, the region is not going to pass. We have to have less than half. For example, we have 200 ppm here, but we have 110 still not going to pass so as i say um it's going to have it's gonna need less than half so it's gonna be 200 here and it's gonna be 80 here and then the conversion is going to be somewhere around um 60. this is something very important to pay attention because many people don't pay attention to this and uh, the region, the temperatures can be working fine with no problems, but if the SER conversion is not right, still the region sign or the region problem will still come back. Even though then you delete it with the computer, even though then you pass the region completely, still is not going to pass. Pay attention to that. Then we have this other reading right here. After treatment, these are particular filters uh, load status and it gives you where it is. Usually, when the system is working correctly, it just says normal, but says above normal, most severe, which means it isn't the highest level it should be. We have another way to realize what is the percentage. Let me see if we can get it. Uh, 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 we is, which is the, uh, okay, we don't have it here, is the DPF uh, load, which is going to give you the amount of uh, suit that is collected based on calculations. Uh, I don't see it here, so probably we can see it here. Let me see <laughs> of the treatment is there. Uh, <laughs> this one right here. See? Anyway, um, so this one right here, we do click to this one. And because it's the newest one, you gotta be on the bottom. See, this is the percentage. It says zero. 0, 0.0, this is the way it's supposed to be. But let's start the engine and see what is the percentage we get depending on the pressure then the engine is uh, measuring, I mean the system is measuring. So it doesn't get anything I see. doesn't get anything yet but usually when the system is completely clogged you're gonna have uh, like one percent two percent three percent depending on how heavy that is um, 
Um, let me see if we can see other ways to measure it. Uh, then we have this one too. See this one? Yeah, this is the other one. Yeah, we have it right here. See, that's another way to see it. See, after treatment, this is a particular filter should load. It's like the same thing as the other one, but one doesn't measure, this one measures. This five ounces, five ounces is pretty high, um, which is not really good. Uh, if we hit the gas, let's see. See, it goes up. Okay, that is, uh, that's the highest it went. Um, yeah, it, it can go higher, but we need to put it on the pressure. Anyway, this is not good. Five ounces is pretty high. It has to be one, 0 0.01, 0 0.05, if the system is working correctly. The most, it can be 0, uh, 1.0. That will be the most, most of out of it. Uh, so, situation here, you want to have this reading here. This is the easiest way to know if the filter is getting clean. Uh, uh, you do the region and you come back to this page, this screen, and uh, you monitor this one. The temperatures are fine, everything is fine. So, this one right here has to go lower, so it has to drop liter by liter it's going to be dropping liter by liter if the region is working correctly if the filter is getting clean if the filter doesn't clean at all it is still dirty this instead is going instead of going down it's going to maintain or it's going to go higher and then is when we're not realized then we have a problem with the filter um most of the time the filter is the one that gets bad and traps the uh, uh the suit in it and you doesn't let it go because it's old it's normal it's normal to see that on common size sex filters going bad um let's turn this one off pending fuel for no reason and uh well um and then there is more things to talk about this uh specific problem it, it requires more than just knowing the uh, the problem it requires to know what you have to follow to in order to fix the problem and for Cummins ISX uh, you don't only repair the problem you have to follow a specific procedure to actually delete the cuts because most of these cuts cannot be deleted if you don't follow the specific procedure um, in some cases you have to do the region then you start the engine ideally for five minutes and then the code will go away in some cases you have to do the region and then delete the cuts in some cases you have to do the region and then you have to run the truck for 30 minutes in the highway and then the fault will go away so it varies the sequence on how to delete the cuts but there is one thing that is very important if you do the region or any repair and the problem comes back the problem is then whatever you repair isn't the problem you have to continue in following the steps in this case one thing that is very important a lot of people confuses dpf with def dpf has nothing to do with def problems i'm telling you so in this case, we only have DPF problems, but this doesn't mean that I'm going to replace the DEF injector or I'm going to replace DEF line, DPF pump, I mean DEF pump and things like that. This is only referred to DPF. That means that I am only going to focus everything to the DPF, which means that I'm going to focus on temperatures. I'm going to focus on pressures, DPF pressure. I'm going to focus on reading times and also leaks. We're gonna see if there is any fuel leaks, any pressure leaks somewhere. 
um, and that will be the way to repair this problem. So don't get confused. I see a lot of people get confused on that, and that is the reason why uh, they don't know how to repair the problem. So this is just my advice. I know many of you have the enough experience on how to repair these trucks, but some of you don't. So if you don't have the experience, just try to do uh, a little research before you start replacing parts, so that way you don't do a repair uh, then it's gonna cost money and not going to do any effect on the truck. Um, but anyway, uh, it was just a video that I wanted to do um, about Cummins, and I wanna try to do more videos about this in the future. Uh, you like it, uh, just hit the like button, uh, share the video with anybody that has a Cummins X15s, or ISX, or anything, they use pretty similar technologies. It varies a little, but pretty much in essence is the same um, uh, and I hope you like this video so thank you for watching follow me on Instagram Francisco Maya YouTube and thank you